When police closed down Bill Henson's latest exhibition two weeks ago and confiscated some of his pictures, they were confident of a result. And it's likely that we will uh, proceed to prosecution on the offence of publish an indecent article under the Crimes Act. Today, following advice from the Director of Public Prosecutions, the case and the police's confidence in it collapsed. The advice that we've received is that there will be no reasonable prospect of conviction and based on that advice we won't be proceeding to prosecute. The Assistant Commissioner is denying police overreacted after complaints about Bill Henson's work. Our job is to investigate complaints. I believe the police have acted appropriately. The case began to unravel on Monday when the classification board found the work depicting a naked 13-year-old girl is mild and justified by context and is not sexualised to any degree. The New South Wales Law Society agrees. Nudity is not obscenity. The law is very simple. If you display a child in a sexual context, it's child pornography. These photographs never did that. Most in the art world were also unhappy about Mr Henson's work being labelled as child pornography. I think we should all feel slightly apologetic for creating a situation in which somebody is made to feel so threatened for doing what is actually wonderful work. But the Prime Minister, who described the pictures a fortnight ago as absolutely disgusting, wasn't changing his mind today. I don't budge from that, but I'm not about to go around and start dictating to the legal authorities what they should or shouldn't do. Campaigners against paedophilia are incensed at the decision to drop the case. Because this is a big green light for the commercial sexual exploitation of our children. That's what this is. Hetty Johnson found herself with a strange bedfellow to support those comments. Some in the pornography industry are also outraged that Bill Henson's been let off the hook. If I was to take those um, take similar photos and display them in any of our adultshop.com retail stores, um, albeit only to adults coming through the doors, that would definitely be considered child porn. And here in Western Australia, I'd be jailed for that. Amid the continuing moral outrage over Bill Henson's work, Crikey.com revealed today Hetty Johnson and the adult Henson. industry we have been in bed Henson. together this for a matter of years. Right. Mal Day says the Eros Foundation, of which he's a member, donated $10,000 to her Bravehearts Foundation when she campaigned for a Senate seat in the 2004 election. We believe in what Hetty Johnson is trying to achieve. We certainly believe in Bravehearts and we want to eradicate child pornography in Australia and worldwide. Bill Henson released a statement this afternoon saying he was reassured the law had been tested and that it still provided a framework for the expression of ideas. The owners of the gallery where his work was to hang say they'll reopen the exhibition soon. Ros Oxley says she's spoken to Bill Henson and he told her he's intending to continue taking photographs the same way he's been doing for the last 30 years. Tom Eagleton, Lateline.